Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy commentary without all the fluff, join our family by subscribing. Last we spoke pertaining to Carl Lentz, he was off to a treatment facility where he was supposedly being treated for mental health issues, which included depression, anxiety, and the 2020 addition to the thesaurus or Webster's Dictionary, pastoral burnout. Kind of like those words, conscious uncoupling for divorce, which was brought to us by America's former sweetheart, Gwyneth Paltrow. Well, the disgraced former pastor was seen on Friday at the Manhattan Pier in LA, where he seemed to be conducting some self-reflection where he was in deep thought, staring into the ocean and writing down notes in a notebook. What should come as no surprise to you all is that the newly recovered former pastor is allegedly now seeking opportunities in the entertainment field, meaning that he has reached out to several producers and studio executives to pitch a quote, faith-based Netflix series. He also has presented ideas to be a part of a reality type TV show. As of now, none of those producers have responded. Someone who is in his circle is quoted as saying, his name is bigger than ever and he knows it and that he's trying to use that to his advantage, you think? It is also reported that Lentz was looking for industry opportunities prior to his move to LA. He also plans to do a speaking circuit and TV. Based on what we know, Tyler Perry has been allegedly aiding him financially, so I would not be surprised if they are both working together on some project to give him a second chance at that fame that was clearly his God. Oh, and for those who may have some concerns for his wife, she is doing just fine as she knows her husband and his proclivities along with his ways. And it seems this came as no surprise to her. So now we know why she was also fired. She also had no problem with the fame that came with her husband, as she is pictured here with Justin Bieber's wife just before the scandal. Additionally, another one of the Hillsong pastors have decided to step down. Take a look at this video. Uh, as many of you know, Jess and I have been part of our church for 15 years. We met at college, went to Hillsong College, uh, worked on staff in different, different roles there and then transition back to America where over the last 10 years, we've been able to be a part of three church plants and had the opportunity specifically here to be the lead pastors. And it has been an incredible ride thus far. We've had some crazy days, some great days, seeing God do uh, many, many miracles. And, and so we're so grateful for that. With that said, you know, the last 10 years of being in church planting mode has really taken a bit of a toll on uh, Jess and I and our family, and we just really feel like it's time to transition off of our staff and take some time uh, to remain healthy, get healthy, and to really see what this next season holds for us. What you just watched was a resignation. For those who aren't familiar with this man, he was the head pastor of Hillsong, Dallas, Reed Bogard, age 38, where he claims he has pastored planted churches for over 10 years along with his wife. He further explains that like old Carl Lentz, he is also experiencing some form of this phenomena, pastoral burnout, and that over the last 15 years, being with the church has taken a toll on him and his wife, as well as their family. I tell you what, Brian Houston has some explaining to do. Anyway, what do you think is going on over there at Hillsong? Is this an attempt to get ahead of another scandal? Do you think Carl Lentz will go quietly into that good night? Or will he continue to campaign with Netflix and other streaming services, producers, in the hopes of attaining that mark of the beast for him, known as fame? How long do you think it will be for Carl Lentz to appear on a screen to tell his story. Six months, nine months, a year, tomorrow. <laughs> 
let's discuss in the comment section. And before you get there, remember to subscribe if you haven't, like and share. Also, turn on your notification bell so you will know when I upload. And stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.